how do you transfer iPad files to a USB? Let's get started. So at first, you, you of course know that the iPad doesn't have a regular USB-A connector. So if you have that kind of USB storage, you will not be able to plug it in directly into the iPad. So if that's the case, we will need to use some sort of adapter or connector, right? So your iPad will most likely feature a USB-C port, which is a different one, or a lightning port, right? Which is, again, a little bit different. And based on that, you will need to figure out the connection. Let's say I want to move files over into an SD card or USB. Well, it doesn't really matter for the purposes of the video because the process is simple. No matter if you have an external SSD or USB or SD card, whatever, it works the same. The point is that you will need to somehow connect it to your iPad. So if I'm using an SD card, I can just plug it in into some sort of adapter like this and then stick it into the iPad. After a while, it should be recognized by the iPad itself. You know that, you know that it is working when you open up the Files app and your external drive or the USB shows up as a separate location within the locations menu in the left panel. So once you find it in there, you know that the connection is successful and that you can start transferring files. Now, as you are still in files, tap on on my iPad. So you go to your local storage and then find the files you want to transfer over into the USB. So you might click on select and select multiple or even just hold down on one file or one folder. But once you do that, you can hold down on it and it will give you the option to move it. So when you click on move, another window opens up with the file locations. So just go to the USB and transfer it right there. So it's really just that simple. But if you don't have that file stored in your file application, for example, you might have it in the Photos app, like it's a picture or whatever, it's, it works the same way. Like you open up that photo, click on a share, click on save to files, and again, pick the third-party location or the external USB drive. So th that's how it works. Obviously, if you export a PDF file from a third-party app or a pages document, it works exactly the same where you just export it and click on a save to files. And from the files, you pick the external USB. So that's how you can always just pick and decide where you save stuff and you can always just transfer it over into the USB. So that's how it works. Let me know below in the comments if you managed to get it to work. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Most definitely subscribe to this channel. And I'm going to catch you in the next tutorial.